All right, folks. I told you I was over here at Bend, Oregon with the Nosler folks in Dakota. The genius, the mad scientist. The, where's your white lab coat? Yeah, took it off for this okay. special event. All right. So he knows more about reloading than I will ever. He'll forget more driving home tonight than I'll ever know. So that's why I'm here with him. Because we told you the goal of this whole series is for me to make my 308 an elk killing machine with everything he's got on the table here. And we talked to you about the process of selecting what you want to do as your first step. So now we're going to talk about the step that kind of is the next fork in the road, mm -hmm. bullet selection. Yeah, bullet selection has almost everything to do with <laughs> what you're going to, if you're going to succeed or fail on your hunt a lot of times. Right. And, so. and once you select that bullet, that's also going to drive some of the other components and, yeah. and other, other things that you're going to teach me along the way. Yeah, absolutely. So you know this stuff better than anyone, Dakota. If you were going to elk hunting, what would you pick and why? Well, I'd narrow it kind of on, on uh, the three big bullets that I would say are elk bullets that we run. Um, we actually have four that I would run for, for elk. Toughest being the E-tip. E-tip is, is ridiculously mm. tough. Penetrates straight line, breaks bone like no other bullet that we build. Yep. It's even tougher than the partition. Typically. And I've shot a lot of elk with E-tips. Mm -hmm. I've shot, we, on the show, we shot a mountain goat with E-tip. Did you? We've shot mule deer, we've shot antelope. We, we've shot everything with E-tip. Yeah, they are, they're the toughest bullet we build for straight line penetration. Even if there's a shoulder in the way or bone in the way, you can go through it. Yeah. And what, what you're looking at in your sight picture is where it's gonna come out on the other side. And it, oftentimes it's actually not a bad thing. I recommend it to a lot of tree stand hunters in the mm -hmm. east because they say, well, I want an exit because I'm shooting yeah. high angle down right. to where if you don't put the hole on the bottom side, you may not get a good blood trail, blood even if the animal's in that thick stuff 50, 60 yards away. Yeah. So E-tip's a pretty good option for that because it almost always exits out yeah. the bottom so or out the other side as it is. So, so E-tips, Acubon long range, partitions, or Acubon, you couldn't go wrong with that. You couldn't go wrong with any of them. I just tend to look at the terrain you're going to hunt in. Mm -hmm. and then your shot distances is what, what makes the decision for me on the rest of it. If you're going to be in close and tight, thick brush, cover, partition's a great option, mm -hmm. as is the E-tip. Yeah. Um, I would lean toward the partition a little bit for energy transfer on the, on the closer side, on closer shots. It, it has a huge hydrostatic shock that it puts into stuff. Okay. Um, the compromise is the AccuBond traditional. It has awesome penetration, good weight retention, great accuracy and high BC to where you can still get out there and retain energy and good shots that don't drift as much in the wind if you're in a little bit flatter area, but it still doesn't compromise on, on uh, penetration and depth of penetration, thermal performance. Right. I'm probably then going to go with what you've already put on this one that you handed mm -hmm. me as a gift. This is the traditional Acubon. That is. The and Acubon. we're at 165s, is that what we That's got? 165 Acubons. Okay. Yeah. So the beauty of the 308, why I really like it is, one, it's a very efficient cartridge, yeah. but I look at the bullet selection you have for mm -hmm. a 308. What is this? This is a Varmageddon, 110 grain, mm -hmm. all the way up to 180s. You got some, what do we have here? Some ballistic tips? Yeah, there should be 150 ballistic tips, I believe. 165. 165. So the beauty of the 308, for me anyhow, is if I can't find a bullet that mm -hmm. fits my need, I've got a really obscure need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does it all. And that, there's a reason why it's so popular, so common, and, and so prolific across the board. I mean, it's, it's, in my opinion, one of the cartridges that will be here forever. Yeah. You can do whatever you want to do with it. You can download it, you know, 110s for coyotes or varmints if you want to, reduce the recoil, get your kids shooting, or you can load it all the way up. I mean, with a traditional twist rate of a 12, you can go all the way up to 190 grain weight projectiles. Wow. So That's a lot yeah, of you, flexibility. Yeah, it covers a big spread. Yeah. It really does. Well, there you have it, folks. That's the first step after you decide what your intended use is. You have to talk about what bullet do I want to fulfill the 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 expectation, the, mm -hmm. the, the need I have. Mm -hmm. Yep. And after that, we need to go to what we're going to talk about in the next video, powder selections. Thanks for watching.